two Ethernet wiring standards, same speed, same performance. Yet people argue like it actually matters. Stick around. The reason why might surprise you. If you've ever searched T568A versus T568B, you've probably noticed how polarized the advice is. Some people insist one is better for homes. Others claim the other is the only correct way to do it. But this confusion has nothing to do with Ethernet speed or performance. It comes from a design decision that predates most modern home networks, and it still shapes how homes are wired today. I'm going to step back from the opinions and focus on the facts, looking at what actually changed between the two standards and trace the real reason this choice exists at all. By the end, you'll know how to choose confidently and stop second-guessing it. What T56A and T56B actually are. First, I need to explain what is inside an Ethernet data cable. An Ethernet cable is a network cable used to connect devices like computers, routers, and switches, and it contains four pairs, eight total conductors, of insulated, unshielded, twisted pair, copper wires inside a single outer jacket. When I say insulated, I mean that the wire is not a bare copper wire, but it is copper coated with a plastic cover or jacket that provides electrical insulation from the wires next to it. And when I say unshielded, that just means there isn't any additional metal shielding to protect each wire or the set of wires from radio frequency or electrical interference. Without getting into the electrical engineering details, the physical twisting of the wires into pairs is the magic that provides just enough protection from electrical interference to make it all work. Instead of using eight different colors, one for each wire, a color scheme is used where the first wire in a pair is a solid color, say blue, and the second wire in the same pair is the same color striped with white, like a candy cane or barber's pole pattern. So the blue pair has one wire solid blue, and the second wire in the pair is striped white blue. The other pairs are orange and white orange, green and white green, and brown and white brown in a similar way. These color pairs are arranged into a specific order which lists the color of each wire from left to right. There are two different wiring schemes named after the obscure technical standards that list the order of the color pairs. So T568A and T568B are the two official wiring standards for terminating eight conductor Ethernet cables using RJ45 connectors. They define the order of the colored wires inside RJ45 plugs, keystone jacks, patch panels, and wall plates. That's it. They do not define Ethernet speed, bandwidth, or even the cable type. Both of these standards fully support modern Ethernet, including 10 gigabit speeds and beyond. When you look at the wiring diagrams and charts, you can see that the only difference between T568A and T568B is that the green pair and orange pair are swapped. The blue and brown pairs stay exactly the same. That's it. No electrical change, no performance difference. From Ethernet's point of view, both wiring schemes are identical. So why do two Ethernet wiring standards exist? The reason has nothing to do with Ethernet performance. It has everything to do with telephone wiring. RJ45 this, T568B that, cat what? Stop being confused by all the wiring jargon. I'll help and guide you one-on-one -on -one so you avoid costly mistakes and get the right setup. Use the link for details. RJ stands for Register Jack, was commonly used for analog telephone lines. RJ45 is currently used for Ethernet wires. An RJ11 phone plug physically fits into the center of an RJ45 wall jack. That design choice was intentional, not accidental. Traditional analog phone systems often call POTS for plain old telephone service, assign phone lines to specific pin positions. 
Line one uses a center pair. Line two uses the next pair outward. Additional lines move outward in pairs. Many home phones were only one or two lines, but there were homes that did have three or even four. Backward compatibility is the real reason for T568A. T568A was designed to maintain the proper pair alignment for single line and multi line analog phones. Both T568A and T568B are backward compatible with single line analog phones, but T568A preserves correct pairing for two line analog phone service. This mattered when homes were pre wired before final use was known. Commercial installs did not care about analog phone backward compatibility. Businesses moved faster away from landlines towards private branch exchanges or PBX systems. Installers adopted T568B for commercial installations and stuck with it for everything, including the home installs they also did. The result, a modern confusion problem. Two standards no performance difference, lost historical context. Thank you so much for watching this video. You are awesome. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more about Ethernet wiring and networking, toggle the subscribe button, automate the bell icon, and get started on your next smart home project. Again, there is no speed difference, no reliability difference, and no signal quality difference. Ethernet does not care the one rule that actually matters. Consistency matters more than which standard you choose. So pick one standard, use it everywhere. Do not mix A and B wiring. My practical guide for home ethernet wiring is the following. Most RJ45 and Keystone jacks always show both A and B diagrams. Follow one diagram consistently. For residential wiring, many people default to T568A, but T568B is also valid. A simple mnemonic helps to remember B is for business. Just keep in mind a few common mistakes to avoid. Don't mix A and B unintentionally. Only mix them if you absolutely must, and make sure you leave wiring diagrams and full documentation right next to everything. Don't assume A is faster than B because someone else told you that. Are you enjoying this video? By clicking on the like button, you tell YouTube what content to show you. Help me help you and click the like button now. There are good reasons to choose one over the other, but not because of speed or assumed signal reliability. The color code ordering of the wires in RJ45 plugs and connectors depends on how you orient the connector. Make sure the way you are holding the cable or connector matches the direction pins up or pins down, the plug tab up or down of the diagram you are using. Don't overthink it, really. Either choice is fine. Friends don't let friends argue over T568A versus T568B. Here's my final advice and the only three things I worry about. Both standards work, neither is better, and consistency is everything. So pick one, wire it cleanly, and move on. In my own home, it was originally wired for analog or POTS telephone service. The builders used Cat5 cable, but they didn't install any networking gear. So in repurposing the existing in-wall wiring, I continue to use T568A. At the end of the day, T568A and T568B work exactly the same. Pick one, stay consistent, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I read all feedback and try to reply to as many as I can. If you're wiring or expanding a smart home network, watch this video next, Practical DIY Ways to Extend Wired Ethernet Throughout Your Home.